Okay, so today we are going to be simplifying expressions and solving equations. This is section 1.2 and 1.3 in the Algebra 2 book. And we are going to start first with simplifying expressions. When you are simplifying expression, what this means is that you are trying to combine like terms together. So looking at this first problem, we have anything that has an x squared will be a like term. We have negative 2x squared, negative 4x squared, and negative x squared. They are all like terms. We can combine them together. Also, we have 5x and regular x. They are like terms, and they can combine together. Working with our x squared, negative 2x squared, negative 4x squared, negative x squared, all combined together to make negative 7x squared, 5x and x combined together to make 6x. On the second problem, before we begin, we want to first distribute through the parentheses. We have a y to distribute in the first set of parentheses, and we have a negative sign to distribute in the second set of parentheses. When we distribute the y through the first parentheses, we get 1y, or y, plus y squared. And when we distribute through the second set of parentheses, we get negative y minus 1. From here, we look for like terms. We have y squared and negative 3y squared, they are like terms, they're going to combine together. We also have y and negative y, they are like terms, and they're going to combine together. When we combine together the y squared and the negative 3y squared, we get negative 2y squared. When we combine together the y and the negative y, they cancel each other out and they're gone. So our final answer will be negative 2y squared and then the minus 1 on the end of the problem that just kind of stays there with our answer. Try these next two problems and then pause the video until you're ready to go over them. Okay, looking at the first problem, we want to begin by distributing the negative sign through the first set of parentheses. When we do that, the 7b will stay at the beginning. We have minus 3a plus 8b and then we still have our plus 2a minus 6b and plus 5. Now we look for like terms. 7b, 8b, and negative 6b are all like terms. They are going to combine together. Negative 3a and plus 2a are like terms. They are going to combine together. 7b plus 8b is 15b, minus 6b is 9b. So for the b parts, all we have combined together is 9b. For the a parts, negative 3a plus 2a would be negative 1a, so you can just say negative a for all those parts, and then plus 5 stays with our answer. Our final answer is 9b minus a plus 5. On the second problem, we want to distribute 5x through the first parentheses, 2x gets distributed through the second parentheses, and we want to distribute negative 3 through the third parentheses. Starting at the beginning, 5x times x is 5x squared, 5x times negative 3 is negative 15x. In the second set of parentheses, we get 2x squared minus 8x. And in the third set of parentheses, we're going to get negative 9x and then minus 6x squared. From here, we look for like terms. Anything with an x squared gets a circle around it, they're like terms. Anything with a regular x, put a triangle around it, they're like terms. 5x squared plus 2x squared is 7x squared. Minus 6x squared would be 1x squared, so you can just say x squared. And then negative 15x, negative 8x, and negative 9x will combine together to make negative 32x. The so final answer is x squared minus 32x. Now we get into solving equations. The difference between simplifying an expression and solving an equation is that when you're simplifying an expression, you're just trying to combine like terms together. However, when you're solving an equation, you actually want to solve for what x is, and you have to get x by itself on one side of the equation so that you can figure out what it is. In this first equation that we're going to solve, we start by distributing the negative 7 on the left side of the equation through the parentheses, and we distribute the 3 through the parentheses on the right side of the equation. After distributing, that 3x stays in front, we have minus 14x and plus 91. That was from distributing that negative 7. On the right side, we distribute 3 through that parentheses, giving us negative 6x plus 27. From here, we look for like terms. 
that are on the same side of the equation and can be combined together. We have those on the left side with 3x and negative 14x. They are like terms. They can combine together to make negative 11x. So our next step would look like negative 11x plus 91 equals negative 6x plus 27. From here, our goal is to get all of the x's on one side of the equation so that we can solve for x. To do this, we're going to plus 6x over to the left side, and this will cancel it out from the right side of the equation. Negative 11x plus 6x is negative 5x plus 91 equals 27. Our next step is to subtract 91 over to the right side. This cancels it out from the left side and we have negative 5x equals negative 64. Last step, divide by negative 5. x equals 12.8. If you like fractions better, you can convert this back to a fraction and it would be 64 over 5. Try this next one, pause the video, and we'll go over it when you're ready. Okay, first step on this next problem is to multiply both sides of the equation by 3. When you multiply the left side of the equation by 3, it doesn't actually change the 7 minus x to anything. It just cancels out the 3 on the bottom of the fraction. So keep the top of the fraction, 7 minus x, the same and don't change anything about it. On the right side of the equation, you actually are going to multiply 5x plus 4, all of that by 3. And that's going to turn it into 15x plus 12. So right now we have 7 minus x equals 15x plus 12. Next, our goal is to get all of the x's on one side of the equation. So we're going to take the negative x on the left side and we're going to add it over to the right side. This cancels it out from the left side and gives us 7 equals 16x plus 12. Subtract 12 over to the left. Gives us negative 5 equals 16x. And then final step is to divide by 16. So negative 5 over 16 equals x. That's the fraction form, or if you like the decimal, it would be negative 0.3125 as a decimal. Try this last one, pause the video, and we'll go over it when you're ready. First step of this last problem is to distribute the 2 through the parentheses on the left side of the equation, and then also to distribute the 5 through the parentheses. We are going to leave the 3 in front of the bracket and not mess with that until we get done after distributing the parentheses. When you distribute the 2 through the first parentheses, we have 2 times x, which is 2x, minus 2 times 3 is 6. And then we still have the plus 2 to finish out that bracket. When we distribute the 5 through the second set of parentheses, we get 5 times x, which is 5x, minus 5 times 3 is 15, equals 6. The 3 is still in front of the brackets. Now we distribute the 3 through the brackets to everything inside, and we get 6x minus 18 plus 6, and we still have plus 5x minus 15, and it equals 6. From here, we look for like terms. 6x and 5x are like terms, and they're on the same side of the equation, so we can add them up to make 11x negative 18, 6, and negative 15 are all like terms. We can add them up to make negative 27. So we have 11x minus 27 equals 6. We're going to add 27 to both sides of the equation. This cancels it out from the left side and adds it over to the right side. We have 11x equals 33. And last step is to divide by 11, so our final answer would be x equals 3.